every time you're throwing the ball, we're throwing to a specific location. That's that number one. You see that number one glove right down the middle? That's what we're throwing down to. That's what we're trying to balance and keep our head on. And that's what we're finishing. That's the main thing. You gotta start it down. See that down here? Uh, when it gets into the hitting zone, if you go downhill versus straight to where you see the whole ball. So that's why it's an advantage to the pitcher to stay tall and get the ball working downhill. All right? But take your time. Don't rush this. Start it down. Right. Now, I went down, but it's still going across. Right. There, taking everything around your body. Because now if you're going around, how can this leg keep pushing you to the plate? Reach out with the ball in front of you. Now off your back foot, off your back foot, push, now keep your foot on the ground. Keep it on the ground. Push off your back foot and push through my hand. Okay, push, push off your back foot. Yeah, okay, so right there you get power off the ground off of your leg. That's when you stay behind the ball. You're going to do the same experiment. You're coming around your body. Now push through my hand. See how much weaker you feel right there? Because everything has to go this way as opposed to here out in front of you. But you can keep driving off your back leg and finish it down here. Got it? That makes sense. I'm taking it down. Spin the ball on the number one. Your head on the one. Downhill. Still can't create downhill. Still can't get back speed. Go it slow. Going slower. There you go. Now, you can just throw it forward because your body's like, nah, I better throw it. But if you take your time and you're thinking I'm going to do it slower, then your body organizes itself so you can finish down here just like you did that. Take your time. That's how you tell every time. When you throw a pitch in the game, we look at it and you're like, man, that's not downhill. So that's going to give you a chance to make an adjustment on the next pitch. So this is going to be downhill, right? This, is it? Is it going to be downhill? Huh? You don't know? No, you can't pitch with that. Even if you get it wrong, you got to be thinking, I'm going to get it right. And it starts by you being positive. So is this going to be downhill? Right, now watch what happens. Right, down here. They say this is going to be downhill and it's going to be a strike on the number one. But you got to believe it now. You can't just, you can't trick me, you got to trick yourself. Love it. Good. They're calling. Having a plan on what you're trying to get done and then see if you can execute. Give yourself a little time before you start moving to think about what you're doing. Good, good, good. Right, do it slow and easy to number three. Slow and easy. All right, a little bit high, but that's right in line. To the number three, downhill, five and down. That's pretty good. That front foot, one off the flat mat, and that's your pitching mechanic. Don't let that front foot spin. Keep your head on it. Right, good, good. Because you're going full speed, then you can't feel what it is we're trying to get to. Take your time so you can feel yourself push, start the ball down, brace up, keep your head on the trajectory. Get on that number one. Spin the ball. Throw the ball down on the knees, and he hits a ground ball to second because it's down in the way. Because the ball is down. And the same pitch away that's up is over the second baseman's head now to line drive. That's in the gap. So the main thing that I really want you to take away from the day, you got to keep the ball down. Regardless of how hard you throw now, you got to be, that's got to be a main thought process when you're throwing your fastball, 
unless you're trying to come in. I know you guys are, you understand how to fix it on the next pitch. Because the guy that makes the adjustments the fastest is going to be the better player. If you get a hitter and you keep throwing him the same pitch and you keep swinging at it and you keep throwing and you keep getting them out, don't change. If he don't change, you don't change. If you throw a pitch and he changes, then you might have to change. But always make the hitter adjust to you. Stay on the number three now. Where's your body going? Where's the target? So if I'm going this way and the target is that way, you see how my body's coming? Going in different directions, have to get together. I gotta throw down here, gotta keep my head on the plate, and I gotta get back again on the ball. I'm gonna throw a couple more, then we're gonna move all the way back to the mound. Downhill. Very good. Good. So stay on the number one, but make sure you're getting in position right here to start everything down to the plate. That right there, my friend, a lot of outs down there. Tons. Trying to get the ball to spin at least past 1,085 revolutions per minute. So spin it hard. Get a better lead arm action, downhill approach, keeping your head going to the plate. Ready? All right, here we go. Spin it hard. Drive it down. Reach up. Breaking ball. So this, make sure you're not falling. Use your back leg. Let it bend first so you can start it down and spin it hard. Yes. Push, drive down. So what I want you to watch is the, the ball flight. See how it goes up when it leaves your hand? Yeah. All right, so what does gravity do? Does gravity make you float or does gravity pull you? It pulls you down, right? Okay, so is gravity gonna help my ball go faster if it's going up or is it gonna help my ball go faster if it's going down and helping go with the pull of gravity? It's gonna help it go down. So this is why this pitch was only 52 miles an hour and the spin rate was less because once you pull out and you start it up, it's starting to lose speed because gravity is pulling. You want gravity to help it. Another reason to throw downhill. Hundred miles an hour and it goes to the backstop. What good is that, right? Still starting it down. Chin and shoulder connect. Start it down to the plate. Spin it. I think your legs are gone. So if you know you're pulling off this way with all your pitches, throw this change up to the number three. This is called the cheat code. Right this is the cheat code. Number three. That's slipping out of your hand. Drive it down. Drive it down. All right, that's a good pitch. Okay. On the build. 